Hi guys, it is Whitney. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I swear to God, there's like weird shadows, right? Today, I am going to be doing the highly requested, the very awaited, updated Taylor Swift CD and final collection. I have been collecting Taylor Swift CDs since I was five years old. My first CD that I ever got was Fearless and I still have that very first copy from 2008 so I really love to share my collection with people who want to see it and I think that you guys want to see it I'm hoping fingers crossed yeah if you're new my name is Whitney I upload Taylor Swift content every week or at least I try to this entire channel is dedicated to Taylor Swift so if you like Taylor Swift you should subscribe and you like Taylor Swift so otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video so subscribe but, but, before we start, I have to show you guys something. Okay, so, I have these two packages that I really would love to show you. One of them isn't open, so that will be a surprise for everyone and me. And this one will just be a surprise for you guys because I have opened it. Okay, I had to. So, I don't know if you know this, but the Grammys 2021 look is so important to me. One, I just love it so much, okay? Taylor's Grammy 2021 look is one of my favorite things she has ever worn in her entire life. I, I love the way it looks, I love the flowers, I love everything about it. So, AW Bridal reached out to me and was like, can we send you a couple dresses that are like the almost exact same as the one that Taylor wore to the 2021 Grammys? It's literally identical. But obviously, for like a fraction of the price. I don't even want to imagine how much Taylor's was. With more Aero Store shows coming up this year, this would be such a cute outfit to wear. And I'm going to Toronto on November 17th, so this is definitely a runner up for an outfit that I might wear. This is what it looks like. Might be like, that looks so familiar. And that, cause it is. This is the short one. Look how, it looks exactly like it. Look at this. Look at the straps. Look at like the, uh, the strap. Is that a halter strap? Halter? But the top is so, it's like, um, Boned. It's a bone top. Almost a, like a corset top. Like it's just very structured and boned. I have so many sizes on the website. Standard sizes, petite sizes, plus sizes. Even have an option to customize your exact size so you know it'll fit you perfectly. I actually have not tried these on yet and I cannot wait to. Okay, let's open the long one. And I have an amazing deal. You can use the code SWIFTY10 to get 10% off of these dresses. Looks the exact same so far. I think I'm gonna like the long version, even though the short version is more similar to the one Taylor wore. I just, I love a good, I'm a sucker for a long dress. Stop. Stop. And then this one doesn't have like a halter, it has actual straps. And these ones are way thicker than the other ones, but it still has the flowers, but the same like boning at the top. Look how beautiful this is. All the flowers, look at all the flowers like close up. They're like beautifully stitched. It's just, it's so folklore. And folklore is my favorite album. So please, please, please check them out. Check them out. I will link them below. Use the code SWIFTY10 for 10% off. Thank you, AW Bridal, for sending me these beautiful, beautiful dresses. And I can't wait to try them on. Thank you. Okay. Um, again, sorry for the shadows on my face. Am I imagining them? And with any further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to start with debut going all the way to 1989 Taylor's version. Starting with the original debut. This one is obviously very old. It has cracks and I don't know if it's falling apart. It's not. Weirdly, it's not falling apart. You'll see that's a very common theme for this video. And this is the 2006 version with the original picture to burn lyric. Then I have a sealed copy of debut. It even has the like label right there on the top. I got this on Depop. I think it was pretty cheap. Next, one of the newest items to my collection. I bought this on eBay. I never got the debut deluxe with like the lenticular insert. They didn't put on the listing that it doesn't come with the booklet, just the lenticular insert, which looks like this. Debut Deluxe. Don't mind the fact that it fell. It wasn't me who broke the case. It came like that. Okay. That is all for debut, Taylor Swift's first album. Moving on to Fearless. Like I said, Fearless was the first CD that I ever got. And this is, this is the original. Oh my God, it's actually falling apart. 
but I like I'm not mad about that a lot I like got some hate for having my CDs like kind of falling apart but I feel like that shows that they have been loved for a very long time I used to play this every single day on my Hannah Montana CD player first CD I ever got next I have another copy of Fearless I honestly don't remember when or why I got a second copy of the standard Fearless comes with the love story poster with all of the faces in it next moving on to fearless platinum edition but it comes with cd video dvd and then like behind the scene music video stuff this is what it looks like the cd is black and then this is isn't that such a cool cd like the black with the gold it kind of is ugly like the black with the gold but it's different so that's good i like the black with the silver a lot better then i have fearless international version but this is what it looks like i feel like a lot of people don't even know that this exists because it's just you know very underground and a lot of people have it next moving on to my prized possession beautiful eyes i get so many questions about where i got this cd it's infuriating it's infuriating because this is so rare now and this used to be in Walmart every single time I would go when I was younger I got this at Walmart in 2014 13 I don't even remember early 2010s is that the right terminology I don't know for six dollars maybe seven dollars and now it goes for over 200 but this is what beautiful eyes looks like it really is just that girl next I have two of the holiday collection CDs. I actually found one of them I got like when it came out and then this one I found at um, Goodwill? Some thrift store. Completely cracked like no other. The inside looks like it's not broken. I wonder if this one is. Probably. Oh! It is and it doesn't even have the CD. Next, moving on to Speak Now. First, my first copy of Speak Now that I ever got. It's so cool to have things that you used to have as a kid and see how loved and cared for they are obviously very cared for not broken has the correct cd in it this is like really destroyed actually and this has no value to anyone else but me because this is again one of the first cds that i ever got it has red deluxe in it my old red deluxe i've had two copies of red i'll explain that later and i have Another copy of Speak Now and another copy of Speak Now. You know, when people know you like Taylor and they see Taylor in store, they don't know that you already have it. So they they get it for you and you have multiple of each CD. Then Speak Now Deluxe. Obviously, she's an icon. This one is actually in great condition. So props to past Whitney. And then finally, for the Speak Now segment, I have the Speak Now World Tour CD and DVD. And the booklet is so cool. It's just like a mini tour book. No lyrics or anything. Moving on to Red. Standard 2012 Red that I've had since then. A little bit broken, but it does actually have the CD in it. So, woohoo. I have the Deluxe Red. This was the second Deluxe Red that I got because I lost the first one. Just the case, not the CD. If you remember, it was in the Speak Now case. I was kind of shocked by that. And finally, Red Karaoke. I don't have any other karaoke CDs except for the red one. I got it in like probably 2015 on the website. It's so random. Like, I mean, I used to have a karaoke machine, so maybe. Anyways, next moving on to the iconic 1989. First, 1989 Standard Edition. Obviously, I have Polaroids in here, but I just actually hung them up yesterday. I used to not hang up my Polaroids. Actually, that's a lie i used to have a whole wall of my 1989 polaroids but i think that they're all lost because i only have like two full packs of polaroids now and i hung them up and then i have 1989 not in the slipcover case because it's lost. this one i cut the polaroids out like a stupid little idiot 10 year old that i was and hung them on my wall i used to cut everything up like my taylor magazines i like i would cut out a picture that i liked like girl just go print it you're like ruining okay and finally 1989 deluxe um, I, there is two in here. Is this the glitch in the matrix? No, just have two copies of 1989 Deluxe. Next, I have six copies of Reputation. Now, here's the thing. I didn't buy six copies of Reputation. I, I did. Oh, wait, I don't have six. I have five. I have five. So, first, I have the two just, like, regular paper, paper copy CD cases that came with the Reputation Volume 1 and 2 
magazines. And it does come with the booklet and your little Taylor Swift ticks thing for the repertoire. I wish they would go back to this system. So bad. But yeah, these are from the volume one and two magazines. They're just like these little cardboard cardboard albums which are kind of adorable that they did that then i have three reputation in the slip cases this is obviously the first one that i got on release day i have a vlog about it from 2017 if you want to watch it kind of dirty but i definitely took better care of it than i did previous albums it is and it's not broken honestly oh my god everything almost just fell and then i just have a second one i got a barnes and noble one time because i saw it and i was like i want to have that Oh, also the reputations come with posters. This is five and six. Just kidding, nine and ten. And then this one came with my reputation VIP box that I bought like a couple months ago, secondhand. And it came with the CD. And then it came with poster three and four. Moving on to Lover. A bit broken. That's how I want. Lover. Then I have the deluxe album version 2 of Lover. And then it comes with the album booklet, the CD, and a poster. Came with this one. And finally, this one. Um, if you know, you know. I mean, I kind of like, I knew. <sighs> that it wasn't real because. It was cheap. I think it was $20. Next, moving on to the best album of all time, Folklore. This is the In the Trees. And then I have just another copy of Fearless. This one is sealed though. Oh yeah, this is the one I kissed and it has um, red stains on it. Some people asked me what I used and if they should do it because they, they don't want it to stain. And I was like, uh, don't do it if you don't want it to stain, especially like in the ridges. Then I have the Meet Me Behind the Mall edition this is from target this is the one i got on release day because they didn't have the in the trees one isn't that so weird there were eight different variants of fearless and finally for folklore i'm so excited to own this i think that this is i actually don't know what i was going to say oh i think that this is the newest piece of album merch that i have gotten the cardigan songwriting voice memos and yeah i got this on depop for $50. These were originally $5 on the website. Next, moving on to Evermore. Queen herself. Love Evermore so much. She really just is that girl. Next is Fearless Taylor's version. This one's also sealed. This is a fake Fearless, again, from the same video as the Lover one. Disc one, folklore, and then disc two. I mean, not folklore. Oopsie. Genuinely, am I okay? I couldn't tell you. Fearless. How beautiful is this CD? Next is Red, Taylor's version. The copy, regular copy from Target. Oh. And then I have my signed Red CD. Hand signed. This is the first signed item that I ever owned. Next, moving on to Midnight. We have Mahogany, Blood Moon, Jade Green. Sorry, I'm like not showing the inside of these. Jade green and the moonstone slash lavender. Like it's the same cover as the moonstone, the like original Midnight's moonstone, but this one's from Target. So it's the lavender edition. Then I have this prized possession right here. This is a signed Midnight's insert. This came with the mahogany. Then I also have two of the Midnight's 3 a.m. editions. I got these in Seattle when they were in the tour bus and they were not sold online yet. Anyways, it's hot. Then Speak Now Taylor's version. It is just so beautiful. I have the little hype stickers from the vinyl and the CD right here. And the CD. So good. Then for 1989 Taylor's version, I have two of the just standard original 1989s. One of them, I think this one is the one I got from Target with the poster. Yes. So there were four, there are four different covers for the 1989s, but eight total. Long story short, four of them came with Polaroids, four of them came with posters, and the Target ones are the ones that came with posters. If you ordered from the website, they came with Polaroids. Polaroids. They're not really Polaroids, they're really pictures. Anyways, this is the poster that came with the Crystal Skies. 1989 CD and it has the handwritten lyrics from Welcome to New York But I just got 
the Crystal Skies one at Target the day it was released because I had ordered all four of the Polaroid editions on the website. Anyways, so I have the Crystal Skies with the Polaroids photos from the vault. These are actually old pictures from the 1989 era. They don't have the like Polaroid um, filter on them though. On the back it's lyrics and stuff. Sorry battery died, changed it, I'm back. Then the aquamarine green Polaroid variant. It's really cute and like cohesive on the inside. These are these ones from the vault. You know, Sunrise Boulevard Polaroid edition. Here are the pictures inside this one. They're all different. And then, and finally, my favorite one, Rose Garden. I'm a sucker for a good pink. And that is it for the CDs. Now, I have some vinyls, which you can see behind me, but I also have some extras that are not up there. First, I do want to show you this signed Midnight's insert that came with the Moonstone vinyl. I love this picture of her so much. Then, for the vinyls that are not on display, I have Speak Now original. 1989. I love the inside of this one. So iconic. And finally, red. And then all of the rest of the ones. And then all of the other vinyls you can obviously see up there. I just don't want to get them down. I have Reputation, Lover, Folklore, Evermore, all the Midnight's variants on the second row, and then all of the Taylor's versions that we have so far in the bottom row. That simple and easy. Oh, and then up there I have the Folklore Wong Pong Studio Sessions vinyl that someone sent to me. And... That's it. That is it. That is all for my Taylor Swift CD and vinyl collection. This was a long one. Like, I've been recording for a good hour. Obviously, it's chopped down for you guys, so you don't have to sit through all of the annoying parts. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. If you also enjoyed me, you should subscribe and follow all of my social medias. I have Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok all below. So you should follow those. And if you're not annoyed with me yet, subscribe as I upload Taylor Swift content every week. What else could you ask for ever in life? And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time with a new video.